This, this project is very important towards the management of the beaver kill because we're trying to figure out you know, how well this, this stream functions as a nursery, as a spawning ground, and as a thermal refuge. So my name is Chris Van Marna. I'm the regional manager for both the Bureau of Ecosystem Health and the Bureau of Fisheries. We have three different species of trout here. We've got rainbow trout, brown trout, and brook trout. Whenever you have potential barriers to passage for the fish to get up further into the system, you limit the potential for the whole system to be utilized. Uh, my name is Steve Swenson. I work for the Bureau of Ecosystem Health. I've been with the DEC for 14 years um, and currently I'm running a restoration program for Region 4. So there's two main goals of this project. The first goal is to test baffles that are made by AT ATS Environmental, uh, a company based in New Zealand, so there aren't a lot of these being used in this country yet. They're very easy to install and the idea is to basically have more fish be able to move up through the culvert once we install these baffles. Second thing we want to do is we want to test radio frequency identification units. So the ones that I made are pass over units so the, the fish have to swim over the units. The one from Oregon RFID is a pass through unit so the fish have to swim through the unit. New York State DC funded the program through the Water Quality Improvement Program in which Trout Unlimited, our partner, applied for the grant money and essentially purchased the equipment that, that I needed to install in the stream to conduct this work. Trout Unlimited is a national nonprofit, and our focus is on the restoration and protection of cold water resources. And in New York, we have a lot of strategies that actually help us to achieve those goals and benefits. And we are working on reconnection projects similar to where we are right now, where we're working with towns and municipalities to identify and then replace barriers to aquatic passage. And when we reached out to the town to talk to them specifically about replacement of this, this culvert, um, they were not so interested. They have a lot of other priority projects, and in the, this particular case, it, the, the structure is in good condition, and so it didn't make sense for them to think about a replacement. Um, and so as we began to have discussions about it, the idea of retrofitting, it's not a new idea, but trying to understand really how effective retrofitting with baffles and other systems are, um, began, that's where the conversation went. And then from there, working closely with DEC, we really came up with the idea that if we tagged fish of all different sizes and species, we'd really understand the ability for trout to move through a potential retrofit system, which has pretty broad implications. Uh, we can't expect to replace every road stream crossing that is a barrier for fish, and so if we come up with effective methods and strategies through this retrofit design, we'll be able to reconnect more and more habitat. So ultimately, if these baffles work the way that I think they're going to work, I hope to try to obtain quite a bit of funding to install almost every single perch culvert uh, in the area with these baffles that is unlikely to be replaced uh, anytime soon. Culverts that are slated for replacement, we're probably not going to worry about them, but uh, the ones that are going to, like this one, this is not going to be replaced anytime soon. So we, we try to find whatever culvert we can and install these baffles.